What if caring less about what others think could set you free? It's a question that many of us grapple with as we navigate the complexities of social expectations and personal identity. In this video, we'll uncover the liberating power of losing all care for what people think and embrace our inner black sheep. To understand why we lose care for others' opinions, we must first grasp the concept of being a black sheep. A black sheep is an individual who stands out from the crowd, often due to their unique qualities, beliefs or behaviors that deviate from societal norms. These individuals challenge the status quo, pushing boundaries and questioning conventional wisdom. Society has long placed immense pressure on people to conform, creating a tension between individual identity and collective expectations. This pressure stems from our evolutionary need to belong, as historically, social rejection could mean life or death. However, in today's world, this instinct can hinder personal growth and self-expression. Black sheep often face criticism, ostracism and judgment from their peers, family and society at large. This constant barrage of negativity can be emotionally taxing, leading many to initially seek approval and acceptance by suppressing their true selves. Yet it's precisely this struggle that often catalyzes a profound shift in perspective, ultimately leading to a liberating disregard for others' opinions. The journey of a black sheep is rarely smooth. It involves questioning deeply ingrained beliefs, challenging societal norms, and often facing opposition from those closest to us. This process can be isolating and frightening as it requires stepping into the unknown and risking disapproval or rejection. However, it's through this very process that black sheep develop their strength and resilience. They learn to trust their own judgment, to value their unique perspectives, and to find confidence in their individuality. This personal growth lays the foundation for eventually losing care for what others think. Understanding the psychology of being a black sheep also involves recognizing the role of cognitive dissonance. When our actions or beliefs don't align with societal expectations, we experience psychological discomfort. Initially, this discomfort might push us to conform, but as we grow more comfortable with our uniqueness, we learn to resolve this dissonance by embracing our differences rather than trying to eliminate them. The path to losing care for what others think begins with recognizing and embracing your uniqueness. This journey involves peeling back layers of societal conditioning to uncover your authentic self. It's about acknowledging that your differences are not flaws to be corrected, but rather strengths to be celebrated. Overcoming societal pressure is no small feat. It requires courage to stand firm in your convictions and values, even when faced with disapproval or ridicule. This process often involves confronting deep-seated fears and insecurities, questioning ingrained beliefs, and challenging the very foundation of your self-perception. As you progress on this journey, you'll likely experience moments of doubt and vulnerability. You might catch yourself slipping back into old patterns of seeking validation. However, each time you choose authenticity over conformity, you strengthen your resolve and move closer to true self-acceptance. Remember, self-acceptance isn't about becoming impervious to others' opinions overnight. It's a gradual process of building self-awareness, cultivating self-compassion, and learning to trust your own judgment. As you become more comfortable in your own skin, you'll find that external validation becomes less and less important. The journey to self-acceptance often involves a period of self-discovery. This might mean exploring new interests, revisiting childhood passions or delving into aspects of yourself that you've previously neglected. It's about giving yourself permission to be curious, to make mistakes and to evolve. Part of this journey also involves redefining success on your own terms. Society often presents a narrow definition of success, but true self-acceptance means recognizing that your path to fulfillment might look different from others. This could mean prioritizing personal growth over traditional markers of success or valuing experiences over material possessions. As you work towards self-acceptance, 
you'll likely encounter resistance, both internal and external. Internally, you might grapple with self-doubt or imposter syndrome. Externally, you might face questioning or criticism from others who are uncomfortable with your change. Remember that these challenges are a natural part of the process and often indicate that you're growing beyond old limitations. The burden of constantly seeking approval is exhausting. It's like carrying a heavy backpack filled with others' expectations, judgments and criticisms. This weight not only slows you down, but also prevents you from reaching your full potential. Breaking free from this burden is a crucial step in losing care for what people think. Liberating yourself from external judgments involves recognizing that others' opinions are often more reflective of their own insecurities and limitations than your worth. It's about understanding that you can't control what others think or say about you, but you can control how you respond to it. This liberation process requires a shift in focus from external validation to internal fulfillment. Instead of asking, what will others think? Start asking, what do I think? What feels right to me? This change in perspective empowers you to make decisions based on your values and aspirations rather than societal expectations. As you break free from others' opinions, you'll likely experience a sense of lightness and freedom. You'll find yourself making choices that align with your true desires, even if they go against the grain. This newfound independence can be both exhilarating and intimidating, but it's a crucial step towards living an authentic life. Breaking free from others' opinions also involves recognizing and challenging your own tendency to judge others. Often, our habit of seeking approval is closely tied to our habit of giving unsolicited opinions or judgments. By becoming more mindful of this tendency in yourself, you can start to break the cycle of judgment and approval seeking. Another important aspect of this process is learning to distinguish between helpful feedback and unnecessary criticism. Not all opinions are created equal, and it's valuable to learn how to filter input from others. This doesn't mean closing yourself off to all feedback, but rather developing the discernment to recognize which opinions are worth considering and which can be safely disregarded. As you work on breaking free from others' opinions, you might find it helpful to practice mindfulness or meditation. These techniques can help you become more aware of your thoughts and reactions, allowing you to observe your tendency to seek approval without getting caught up in it. Over time, this awareness can help you respond more intentionally to external judgments. Embracing your authentic self is the cornerstone of losing care for what others think. It's about honoring your true nature, values and passions, even when they don't conform to societal norms. When you fully accept and express your authentic self, you naturally become less concerned with others' opinions. The benefits of being true to yourself are numerous. You'll experience increased confidence, reduced stress, and a greater sense of purpose. When you're no longer expending energy trying to be someone you're not, you free up mental and emotional resources to pursue your goals and dreams. You'll also attract people and opportunities that align with your authentic self, leading to more fulfilling relationships and experiences. However, embracing your authentic self often requires overcoming the fear of rejection. This fear can be deeply ingrained, stemming from our basic human need for connection and acceptance. Overcoming it involves recognizing that while rejection may hurt temporarily, the pain of living an inauthentic life is far more damaging in the long run. As you embrace your authentic self, you'll likely face challenges and criticism. Some people may be uncomfortable with your newfound authenticity, especially if it challenges their own beliefs or choices. Remember, their reactions are more about them than you. Stay true to yourself, and you'll find that the right people will appreciate and support you for who you truly are. Embracing your authentic self also means accepting your flaws and imperfections. It's about recognizing that these aspects are part of what makes you unique and human. This self-acceptance doesn't mean you stop growing or improving, but rather that you approach personal development from a place of self-love 
rather than self-criticism. Another crucial aspect of embracing your authentic self is learning to trust your intuition. We often have an innate sense of what's right for us, but years of conditioning can lead us to doubt this inner voice. As you become more authentic, you'll likely find that your intuition becomes clearer and more reliable. Learn to listen to it and trust it, even when it goes against conventional wisdom. Embracing your authentic self also involves giving yourself permission to change and evolve. Authenticity isn't about rigidly adhering to a fixed idea of who you are, but about being true to yourself in each moment. This might mean allowing yourself to outgrow old beliefs, habits or relationships that no longer serve you. As you lose care for what the general population thinks, it becomes crucial to find your tribe, a group of like-minded individuals who appreciate and support your authentic self. This doesn't mean surrounding yourself with yes people who never challenge you, but rather finding those who respect your individuality and share your values. Connecting with like-minded individuals can provide a sense of belonging that doesn't require conformity. These connections validate your experiences and struggles, reminding you that you're not alone in your journey. They offer support when you face criticism or doubt and celebrate your unique qualities. Creating a supportive environment goes beyond just finding your tribe. It involves actively cultivating relationships that nurture your authentic self. This might mean distancing yourself from toxic relationships or setting boundaries with those who consistently undermine your self-expression. Remember, finding your tribe doesn't happen overnight. It's a process that requires patience, openness, and sometimes stepping out of your comfort zone. Engage in activities aligned with your interests. Join communities, online or offline, that resonate with your values and don't be afraid to initiate conversations with people who intrigue you. Finding your tribe also involves being the kind of person you want to attract. As you become more authentic and accepting of yourself, you'll likely find that you naturally draw similar people into your life. Be open, genuine and supportive of others, and you'll create an environment where authentic connections can flourish. It's important to note that your tribe doesn't have to be a large group. Quality is more important than quantity when it comes to supportive relationships. Even a small number of genuine connections can provide the support and understanding you need to thrive as your authentic self. As you find your tribe, you might also discover that your relationships with existing friends and family evolve. Some relationships may deepen as you become more authentic, while others might become more distant. This is a natural part of the process and doesn't necessarily mean cutting ties completely. Instead, it's about finding a new balance that honors your authentic self. The ultimate stage in losing care for what people think is achieving a state of indifference towards others' opinions. This doesn't mean becoming apathetic or disregarding valuable feedback. Rather, it's about reaching a place where your self-worth and decisions are no longer swayed by the court of public opinion. Channeling your energy towards personal growth instead of approval-seeking is a game-changer. When you focus on improving yourself for your own satisfaction rather than to impress others, you'll find that your progress is more sustainable and fulfilling. This shift in focus allows you to set goals that truly matter to you rather than those dictated by societal expectations. Achieving inner peace and contentment is the beautiful result of this journey. When you're no longer constantly worried about what others think, you free up mental and emotional space for self-reflection, creativity and genuine connections. You'll find yourself more present in your daily life, able to fully engage in experiences without the nagging voice of potential judgment. This state of indifference doesn't mean you become immune to others' opinions overnight. It's a gradual process, and there may still be moments when you find yourself affected by criticism or seeking approval. The key is to recognize these moments, remind yourself of your journey, and gently redirect your focus back to your own values and goals. Cultivating indifference also involves developing a strong sense of self-trust, 
This means learning to rely on your own judgment and intuition, rather than constantly seeking external validation. As you build this self-trust, you'll find that others' opinions naturally hold less sway over your thoughts and actions. Another aspect of developing indifference is learning to find validation from within. This might involve practices like self-reflection, journaling or meditation that help you connect with your inner voice and values. As you become more attuned to your own thoughts and feelings, external opinions become less important. It's important to note that indifference doesn't mean isolation. You can still value and consider others' perspectives without being controlled by them. The goal is to reach a state where you can engage with the world around you from a place of inner security and self-assurance. Losing all care for what people think is a transformative journey that leads to authenticity, resilience and inner peace. By embracing your unique qualities, breaking free from the burden of others' opinions and focusing on personal growth, you open yourself up to a life of genuine fulfillment. Remember, being a black sheep isn't about rebellion for its own sake, but about having the courage to live true to yourself.